fantastic people. You want to know why you're fantastic? Because you helped me reach 15,000 subscribers. Yeah, so I can't thank you guys enough. All of you are seriously so amazing. I love each and every one of you to help me reach this milestone. And when I saw that I reached 15,000 subscribers, I know I wanted to do something, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you guys my gaming setup. I haven't really done this in many, many years. The last time I did one was several years ago. I was living somewhere else and it was a lot smaller and I actually had a lot less stuff than this. So I figured, you know, it'd be a good idea to just kind of show you guys where the magic happens. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so uh, that's pretty much where I just was sitting right there, my uh, pretty uh, comfortable couch. And I put a uh, cover over it because somebody by the name of uh, my dog Jax, and you might see him running around, I decided it would be a good idea to chew on the cushions. So I had to get a cover, uh, but believe it or not, it actually makes it even more comfortable with this on it. So yeah, this is uh, pretty much the bulk of it right here. So TV, computer, boom, boom. And if you guys might have seen this before, but I love sitting in this chair. This is the most comfortable chair in existence. I could get like a you know, gaming chair that's leather or whatever, but I refuse to get rid of this because if I sit in this thing, I will take a nap, guaranteed, and I will not want to get up for hours, so fucking love this chair. Moving right along, right over here, we've got uh, some handy stuff, so TV remote. Uh, these are my Turtle Beaches uh, PX5s, the wireless ones. I use this for both my PS4 and Xbox One. Got a uh, wireless keyboard right here in case I want to do some gaming on my TV. You know, a bunch of cables so I can chat people and stuff. Here's the uh, Xbox One uh, Halo Master Chief controller. I want to get a uh, Elite controller, you know, the one that has the rubber on the back of it. So um, I ordered one of those. I'm waiting for that to get in. But this is what I usually use, mainly because when I first got an Xbox One controller, they the chat input thing sucked. Like, you see that little input right there? They didn't have these. It was only this thing right here, and you have to get... Before you had to get an adapter in order to talk to any people. You had to get an adapter, you had to get this cord, and then this cord along with it to talk to anybody, which is really fucking stupid. So that's why I usually game with this one, just because it works well and, uh, you know, I can talk to people on it, of course. So, yeah. Um, and this is if I want to, uh, you know, use the keyboard on any console, really. I just plug it in USB, because I really actually prefer, uh, you know, one of these instead of having to get... Um, you know, one of those really small little keyboards plugged into here because I actually like using one of these a lot better. So, uh, usually this is the uh, equipment that I have set up right here. So, like I said, there's the comfiest chair in the planet. Uh, I got some posters random around here. You got uh, Minecraft poster, Assassin's Creed. I fucking love Pirates of the Caribbean. That's why I have, you know, Pirates posters and stuff. So, a lot of people have seen this in my uh, videos. This is basically, you know, just a little fishing net thing that I uh, put together because uh, I just really like the ocean you know I'm a big ocean person so fishing net got some seashells and uh, lifesavers stuff like that's all over it you know I just kind of threw it on there plus it looks pretty cool you know it kind of fills up the room quite a bit and I just uh, keep these right here because uh, this is back when I went to go to Europe. If you guys haven't seen that yet, uh, my vlog is on it. It's on my second channel. Link for that is in the description below. But I kept these. These are actually uh, really good uh, little mints that I got. It's right off, right near the uh, London Bridge. So very yummy. So I've got my uh, PS Vita and my tablet right there. And if you guys remember it, this is the infamous laptop that I actually used to record everything on. Uh, back when I was living with multiple people, now that I live by myself, I don't use this piece of shit anymore, but this thing is a piece of shit, I'm trying to sell it, uh, it's just really tough because, you know, no one really wants to buy a tablet that doesn't fucking work, so yeah. So right here, I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but this is, uh, my ninja sword. Let me take it out real quick for you. So boom! There it is right there. I sometimes use this as a prop or whatever, but this actually is, uh, very, very sharp. So, I gotta be careful with it, but it's very badass, you know, I just use it for, uh, you know, certain videos if I just want to fiddle around with it or something. But, of course, this is something you can't play with because this sword is actually very, very sharp. See that blade right there? So, even if I rub my finger along the line of it, I'll cut myself. That's so fucking sharp this thing is, so, 
If the zombie apocalypse happens, I am ready to go. All right, so moving along uh, over here, you guys might have seen this as well, but uh, this is my uh, prop gun for one of my carbines. Fucking love the carbines. This thing's pretty cool because it has like a uh, laser silencer on it. It has different uh, shooting modes, if you can see. It's got semi safe mode and auto mode, and you can actually take this uh, red dot side off if you want. But yeah, every, occasionally I'll use this, but yeah, it's. It's alright because you know it's just a BB gun shooter, but it actually gets the job done pretty damn well if I may say so. I have quite a few of these as well. Basically what these are is these are like rechargeable batteries. So I can't fucking stand when you're playing a game that all of a sudden your fucking controller dies, your headset dies. Because I use a lot of stuff that's wireless, so I just buy a, a fuck ton of these and then just plug them into the wall and charge them. And, and I buy a lot of them that way if I run out. I always have another one on the wall charge and so I can just replace them out and ready to go. So there's pretty much always ones that are going to be charging. So definitely recommend these. Get some. Over here we've got uh, your badass Marvel poster with pretty much every single Marvel character that exists. You've got your Deadpool poster. Fucking love that movie. You've got Kylo Ren poster and you've got the, of course, Rooster Chief crew. I got this at a... Uh, Let's Play Live, that was freaking love those shows. But yeah, this is one of them. The other one I got was from uh, RTX. So here's a red versus blue poster, which is really funny. Uh, I mean, there's just so much details on it. I'll be here all day talking about the stuff that's a little ripped, but this is my favorite part right here. So sound stats, Simmons sucking up, shut up, caboose, bow chicka bow wow, cock bite, shotgun, suck it, dirt bag, son of a bitch, donut entree, so yeah, but yeah. One of my favorite posters of all time. So you've got uh, even more fishing stuff, because like I said, I'm a huge ocean person. And another super comfy chair. Not as comfy as that one, but you know, comfy nonetheless. Uh, here's my Kylo Ren mask that uh, my friend John gave me. If you're watching this, John, thanks, appreciate it. Sometimes I'll use that, you know, to make a sleeve video, whatever, but you know, just kind of keep it handy. This thing talks too. Let me see if I can figure out how to turn this thing on real quick. So. Yes, indeed. Don't fight it. You know you can't. Yeah, so it takes lines from the movie, which is pretty cool. I got this thing before the movie came out, so I was like shitting myself because it was saying lines from the movie I haven't heard of yet, so yeah. A lot of you guys probably seen my Ultra Sabers video, but uh, these are currently the ones that I have. Well, this is not an Ultra Saber. You can pretty much get this anywhere, any regular toy store. Uh, but I just got, well, my friend got me this one. Because uh, it was on sale for like five bucks or something and he just gave it to me, you know, as, you know, for lols or whatever, but, you know, it's plastic, cheaply made, and let me turn it on. So you can kind of see the LED, the LEDs throughout it, but, you know, it has the uh, flash on clash effect. Like that, so, motion detection. But yeah, you know, it's, it's very cheaply made, but it is what it is. And then you've got uh, this one that's actually from Ultra Sabers that I uh, made a video on. I mean, my friend made a video on a couple Ultra Sabers that we have. But this thing is really awesome because this material is uh, it's fucking amazing. You know, this is, thing is like made of metal. Then you got this, which is like really hard plastic. Like this thing will last a lifetime. So you turn it on. Oh, battery's dead. <laughs> but yeah, those are the... Uh, Sabers that I got, just keep them handy right there. Be, remind myself of what a badass I am, you know? Yeah. Got some more, uh, you know, those battery things charging. Like I said, always got to do that so I don't run out of juice anytime soon. So I've shown you guys uh, all of this stuff so far. We're moving right over here to the main event. This is really where all the magic happens right here. So I'm going to start off right here with my Nintendo 64. I still fucking play this thing. I got the best fucking game ever made. Well, one of the best games ever made right there. Zelda or Green of Time going. I got myself one of these two recently. This thing is actually really cool. and It's one of those uh, turbo controllers. I actually really like the design of this one as opposed to the original uh, 64 controller which looks like this right here. But yeah, I actually like this one way more than this one just because holding this thing is kind of weird in my opinion. You know, I played the N64 to death, but it's still, I can still, you know, control it and everything pretty well. It's just you have to hold it real weird. 
But this one's a lot better because you can hold both of your hands with it, and this one's just a lot more comfortable. So I recommend one of these uh, Tomi Turbo Controllers. T O M E E. Tomi Turbo Controllers. I'm grab one of those. All right, so I have a shit ton of stuff here. I don't know where to start, so I'm just gonna you know start with the up up here and then work my way down. We got the uh, you know cameras for both my 360 and uh, PS3, my PSI, whatever you call it, it's right there. My TV, fucking love this, can play up to 4K resolution, and uh, the exact specs, I'm not sure, it's uh, 58 inch, I believe, something like that, 50 something, uh, but yeah, fucking love this TV, had it for years, I don't plan on upgrading anytime soon, but if I do, it'll be, have to be a hell of an upgrade, because this TV is really nice. So we have uh, quite a few controllers, I kind of set it up like this, so it's like, you know, PS3 or PlayStation controllers, Xbox controllers, then you got the uh, big fucker connect in the middle of it. But I don't hate this connect as much as, uh, you know, because people, a lot of people think that I hate the connect, but this one works way better than the one for the 360. The one for the 360 was shit, it was broken, but this thing works, for me at least, about 90% of the time. You know, sometimes if you're saying a certain command, it doesn't recognize it, but whatever. For the most part, it works. But let me show you guys some of my controllers here. You know, the basic 360 controller. Here's one I got modded. You guys might have seen this before. Uh, but I believe this is called the Night Predator uh, skin. You know, you got chrome buttons on it, and you got the clear thumbsticks and stuff. I don't really use this as much anymore because, uh, if you guys can see, this thing's kind of chipping away here, so... I don't really use it as much, but I just like to keep it because it looks really cool. Uh, then you got this one, which uh, I actually like a little more be just because the material feels a lot better. But uh, it's black flame. It's also clear. If you can kind of see through it. It's got, uh, you know, the chrome buttons, of course. Fucking love chrome buttons. Chrome triggers. So, there's that. And here we have my uh, modded Xbox One controller. So, here, this is the uh, blue circuitry paint. Uh, again, chrome buttons, it's got blue LED on it, and this has the uh, Rapid Fire mod installed on it. The reason why, though, I don't use this as much as my other um, Halo uh, Xbox One controller is because, look, as you can see, there's no input for the headphone jack. There's only this stupid adapter thing, which, you know, you have to... I did have, but they break so fucking easily because they're cheaply made, so... If I'm gaming solo or whatever on like a really competitive game, I get this one for sure. So my uh, PS3 and PS4 controllers, here's my modded PS4 controller, also has rapid fire on it. So it has, uh, I'm not sure what this exact paint skin is called, but I think it's called like blue marble or something like that, but I love it nonetheless. Got the uh, teal buttons on there. I didn't really, at the time when I made this, they didn't have options to modify the thumbsticks or the triggers, but whatever. Still looks pretty cool nonetheless. And it has rapid fire, so can't complain. You just got your basic PS4 and PS3 controllers right there. So you guys might have already seen this, but I got a speaker right there, speaker right there, and a speaker right here. I'll, I'll explain why I have that set up here in a minute, but... Let's move on down to the amazing consoles. We got your uh, 360, PS3, Xbox One, PS4, and yeah. So basically this is my capture card for my uh, 360, my PS3. As you can see it's component cables and I have these dangling right here so if I want to switch from my 360 to my PS3 I just swap these out so I keep them hanging out and that way I can just replace them easier. And uh, these right here for my uh, N64. I've been trying to record more on that thing with this but it, it just is really like laggy for some reason in the uh, preview and you know the end recording is also really laggy. I'm trying to figure out how to fix that so but you know the preview that on the TV screen it plays just fine but in the preview when I'm recording it on my computer it's laggy as fuck so I'm trying to figure out how to fix that. If you guys know a way to work around that please let me know but yeah that's uh, my setup right here. Uh, what we got right here is, uh, this is really useful, these are for my uh, wired Turtle Beach headset, so if I don't want to use my uh, wireless headset, then I'll plug in my wired Turtle Beaches, and plug them in right here, and this thing is super useful. This is uh, called the I Love Adapter. 
So basically you've got your little uh, headphone jack and microphone jack right there. It plugs in USB so that uh, you know you can talk to people. Very nice. Uh, this is the uh, wireless uh, signal tower that I have for my uh, PX5s right there. And here is my capture card for my Xbox One and my PS4. So there are my consoles right there. So these are uh, only some of the games I have. Bear in mind uh, a shit ton of games I have are either uh, you know installed um, or they're in uh, you know one of these cabinets like right there. I have a fuck ton of games and cords in there, and I clean up a lot of this for the video. But before I had a lot more cords, but that has a lot of cords and games in it. And the filing cabinet over there also has a lot of uh, like cords and games in there. Like my dog Jack's in the background who has an itch. <laughs> uh, but here are a lot of my uh, games I've got. So let's have a look. So Assassin's Creed, Batman Arkham Knight Collection, Fallout, GTA, GTA, Gears, Dragon Age, Halo, Infamous, Jack and Daxter, Just Cause 3, The Division, Oblivion, PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, Prototype. Halo Master Chief Collection, Shadow Mordor, Watch Dogs, Red Dead, Skyrim, Spider-Man 2, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Kingdom Hearts, Phantom Pain, Last of Us, Rock Band, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Saints Row Double Pack, uh, Arkham Knight, Far Cry 4, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and The Witcher 3. So, these are the ones that I usually play uh, most of the time. Like I said, I have a lot more that are uh, just downloaded on my uh, console. So, this isn't all of them, but um, these are the ones that I usually play if I... Uh, you know, just want to grab a game real quick and play it. So most of them are listed right here. Uh, and I have one of these tower things, which is very useful. You can get one of these at GameStop for like 15 bucks. And there's also another one you can get where you can stack a tower on top of it. But I'm kind of running out of room to do that, and I'll show why later. But basically, I'm not sure where I would put that. I'd probably have to put it, you know, I don't even fucking know. So, but yeah, that's most of the games that I uh, usually play right there. Uh, so here's my... Um, some of my DVDs and Blu-rays, you know, this isn't nearly, you know, everything I own because I usually just download everything off the internet and everything saved on my computer because, you know, as you can see, I really don't have any room for this stuff, but, you know, um, these are just DVDs and Blu-rays that I've had forever, so I'll just quickly go through like that so you guys can see what I have. Of course, I have uh, all seven... Star Wars movie, there's Force Awakens right there, so all seven Star Wars movies. Family Guy, here's that bits, big speaker thing, more Family Guy. The complete Dragon Ball Z series, Yu Yu Hakusho series, that's uh, Death Note, that black box thing. I have a couple more games, like for my uh, PSP. You got Grand Theft Auto Vice City Story, Star Wars Battle for 2, Uncharted Gold and Abyss, and there's my um, Halo 5, uh, whatchamacallit, Collector's Edition, so... But yeah, that's uh, pretty much the bulk of everything right here, so... Uh, right here is what the mic I use to record everything. This is my uh, Blue Yeti mic, and here is the pop filter for it. Uh, yeah, I fucking love this mic. The quality is superb on it. And um, so here's my uh, computer setup. So, fucking love this mouse and keyboard. I got these off of Amazon. I don't know what they're exactly called. It's... Um, Aula, A-U-L-A, -A. this is, um, I have no idea, laser something, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, so here's my, uh, computer setup, this, uh, webcam is actually really nice, this records out the 1080, which is, uh, really surprising for a webcam, I haven't really owned one that has, uh, being able to record 1080 yet, but yeah, uh, this is also one of the, uh, biggest computer monitors I've seen, uh, I was going to get dual screens, but, I mean, this one's just as nice, and I can get just as much work done on it, so. Uh, this is my uh, e-cigarette. This is my uh, controller if I want to game on PC. Um, so here's my desktop, and here are my Turtle Beaches uh, right there, so. So what's really nice about this uh, whole setup, and the reason why I have these speakers right here, is uh, I'll show you guys this real quick. So as you can see, it's a... Uh, kind of an expanded desktop. Now here's why I have it set up like that. So just drag this, yoink, and then yoink. So just like that, I have uh, dual screens in a way. And here's the main reason why I have the speakers.
That way, you know, you can play move or uh, TV shows, movies right on here. And I got speakers in so I can just, you know, chill on the couch and just watch movies or TV. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this real quick because of, you know, fucking copyright is bitchy on YouTube. But yeah, uh, that's the bulk of my gaming setup right here. So computer, TV, bunch of electronics, and all that jazz, so I certainly have come a long way uh, since, like, what, 2008 when I first made this channel, but for those of you that have stuck around, thank you all so much. You guys are fucking awesome. I love each and every one of you, and as always, be sure to subscribe, and of course, thank you for subscribing so many times. Peace!